What's up guys, Brandon here and I am back with another action figure review. Today we're taking a look at the DC Multiverse, Dr. Savannah and Shazam. Super excited to have found these figures. They have been eluding me, kept seeing them on the internet, couldn't find them, couldn't find them. And then lo and behold, today at Walmart, there they were. So I'm very, very excited to have these. Found them at Walmart for 20 bucks a piece. Um, and they look absolutely terrific. I'm really excited for the articulation on Shazam. I hear it's supposed to be a great one. Uh, and if you're a Shazam fan, you know uh, this is probably the most articulated Shazam we've had to date. Aside from maybe the new one that I don't have yet that is from DC Collectibles. Came in the Shazam Black Adam 2-pack. Um, so yes, 20 bucks Walmart. Super, super awesome. Uh, the UPC for Dr. Savannah is here and the UPC for Shazam is here that'll probably help you find them a little bit quicker all right we're gonna get these figures out of the packaging and take a closer look stay tuned all right so we have our figures out of the packaging let's take a closer look first at Dr. Savannah I have to say Mattel has done a fantastic job sculpting this figure he absolutely looks like Mark Strong. That face sculpt is perfect. Um, I mean, really, you... I've, I've never seen something as good as this. You could do whatever you want with this figure. You could even make yourself um, a, a kick-ass custom and make him the villain uh, from that movie. So it, it absolutely looks like Mark Strong. They did a fantastic job. We can see his magical eye. Pretty great. Um, he's got his standard tan or white coat um, he's also got a blue coat over that um, and he's got this black coat with a furry collar and so it looks really good it looks true to everything that we've seen in the trailer standard black pants dress pants dress shoes um, underneath he's got some peg holes so that's nice uh, but yeah very very nice figure I definitely like him a lot so very cool Dr. Savannah um, I did notice something though in his hands um, here we've got, uh, on his pinky finger, if it'll focus, he's got a ring, um, a gold ring, which I assume is some kind of magic ring, and it is not sculpted too well on this hand. So on Savannah's alternate hand, you can see the S on that ring just a little bit better. It definitely looks like an S to me. And now if we take a look at Savannah's articulation, we've got movement in his head on a ball joint up and down side to side. Pretty good at the shoulders to come forward, out and back. Um, he's also got a cut right below the shoulder. He's got single jointed elbows. He's got movement in his wrist that twists and bends out and in, which is fantastic. Uh, we do have an ab crunch, which is pretty great. Uh, we have movement in the waist. We have movement in his legs that come forward, out, and back. Uh, we have double jointed knees, which is really, really great stuff. Uh, and then in his ankles, we have movement side to side, uh, and they also move up and down. So really, really great articulation for this Dr. Savannah figure. Um, they could have absolutely given us less articulation, and we would have been okay with it because he looks very much like Mark Strong. Um, but they, Mattel went all out. They gave us a lot of articulation for him. The coat could have hindered it, but it did not. So really, really good job to Mattel on this one. Dr. Savannah looks amazing. For accessories, Dr. Savannah comes with an alternate head, which I've just put on. And it looks really, really good. I must say, I am very thrilled uh, to have this figure, to have this head sculpt. You can even see above the glasses and below the scar that covers his eye. So... I really, really do like that great head sculpt. Um, but yeah, and it, it was pretty simple to take the head off. A little more difficult to put it on. You have to apply a little bit of pressure. He also comes with the alternate hands, the fisted hands, uh, which I showed you earlier with the ring. So that's pretty cool. So two fisted hands, two open hands. And he comes with this magic eight ball as well. So the eight ball places in his hand fairly nicely. And it looks pretty good. So I really, really do like this Dr. Savannah figure a lot. Um, again, they could have not even made one. Or they could have given him very limited articulation and no accessories. But we really, really got a great figure here. I personally like a little bit of lightning 
on my Dr. Savannah because he's got Shazam powers in this movie, which really kind of makes him Captain Savannah. So I stole some lightning from Zoom, some blue lightning, and it actually looks pretty awesome. So if you want to get a great display going with your Dr. Savannah, there's a good way to do it. So really awesome stuff, really great figure, 20 bucks Walmart. Definitely pick him up if you're a DC fan, if you're a Shazam fan, and if you're a Mark Strong fan, this is absolutely for you. And next, if we take a look at the big red cheese, he looks absolutely awesome. I really like this figure. Um, he looks so much like Zachary Levi. It is uncanny. Uh, I mean, it's it's phenomenal. Everything about this figure is absolutely perfect, except maybe his height or everybody else's height in the multiverse line. I'll I'll show you guys that later. But he looks fantastic. I really, really do like this figure. He is textured, if it'll focus in there. Um, texture all over him, which is the little S's all over his body. So it's pretty awesome. Um, the gold is metallic. However, I wish that the yellow lightning was metallic. It is not. Um, the back of the cape looks really, really good. The hood you can't put on, which we don't really need that. I just like that it's sculpted in there. All the detail work on the cape is absolutely terrific. I really, really do like that. Even the little S's on the side of the cape are there. They're not just, you know, gold lines. So everything is sculpted. Everything is detailed. Everything is painted very, very appropriately. And I really do like that. Um, the only thing with my Shazam cape, as you can kind of see, it's a little bit warped. Uh, warped from the packaging. Should be out like that. Mine's kind of stuck in. The only other thing that you should be on the lookout for is the head sculpts. If you're at the store picking up a Shazam um, some of them have, and mine doesn't suffer too bad from it. You can't really see it too well on the camera, but his forehead has a little line on it, like a crease line. And then some of the paint does bleed just a little bit like Shazam got a bad haircut or bad hair dye from his haircut. So there's that. But, uh, those are quality control issues. So if you can find yourself a good Shazam, definitely pick one up in store. Don't order it online. Don't pay the crazy, ridiculous scalper prices. Um, but yeah, there you go. Shazam is a awesome, awesome figure. If we take a look underneath, he does have peg holes. And if we take a look at his backside, um, pretty good stuff, pretty standard. So really, really great looking figure. I got to say, I really do like him a lot. They even got the, uh, the yellow on the belt, correct with the lightning. Um, and they did paint the side of the gauntlets. However, it's painted white, not yellow. Uh, the little little light up spots in the gauntlets. Um, the other side of the gauntlets are red, which is perfect. So this is a really, really great figure. There was a rumor that we weren't getting any multiverse figures for Shazam. And, you know, it could have been none, but at least we got two. So I'm very thankful and happy for that. And now if we take a look at Shazam's articulation, we've got moving in the head. Looks up pretty good. Down pretty good. And side to side. We've got moving in the shoulders, comes up pretty good. Forward and back, we've got moving above the bicep, which is great. We've got double jointed elbows, which is awesome. I mean, you can do pretty much any pose with this. I know it looks weird the way his elbow is, but it's awesome, especially if you're into action figure photography. This is perfect for you guys. Um, the wrists move, they bend in and out. Um, we do have, instead of an ab crunch, um, it's on this little peg or kind of like rubber band joint. So he can look up really far for some really epic flight poses. Um, and he can look down real good too. So very awesome. This is the first time that I think we've seen that multiverse wise for Mattel. So really, really good stuff. Um, and on top of that, we also have um, movement in the waist. And we've got movement in the hips, forward, um, back, not so much. Uh, but his legs do come out pretty good. We've got a cut right at the at the top of the leg which is great we also have double jointed knees which is really really fantastic they gave us incredible articulation with shazam is there a boot cut nope no boot cut um, but we have moving in the ankle forward and back really good um, and also side to side on a rocker pivot which is absolutely fantastic so I really, really do like this Shazam. He's got some amazing articulation. And really, you can put him in just about any pose. Um, so I really like him. 
He's absolutely a great figure. 20 bucks Walmart. Um, yeah, Shazam is pretty awesome. So I think for 20 bucks, absolutely worth it. Very cool articulation. Very cool figure. So for accessories, Shazam comes with a couple of spare hands, which I just put on. He comes with two flight hands that are open, which are sculpted very, very nicely. I really do like that. And he also comes with just some open hands. So whatever accessories you could have, I guess he could hold. Or if you just want him to look like he's in a in a regular normal pose with, you know, not clenching his fists, then I suppose that works too. So that's about it. He only comes with those extra hands. Um, no alternate head or anything else. Um, but the same with my Dr. Savannah, I really do like some lightning on my Shazam. So I stole some lightning from the DC Universe Classics Black Vulcan. Um, and this looks really, really cool. So if you want some extra lightning on your Shazam, definitely try and find some. I also stole this lightning chest piece from the Mezco 112 Black Atom, which works really, really well. So there you go, you guys. Shazam looks absolutely fantastic. For 20 bucks, he's an amazing figure. If you're a Shazam fan, if you're a DC fan, if you're just excited for the movie, if you just want a really great figure that you can pose around and play with, he's absolutely fantastic. So 20 bucks, Walmart. Definitely worth it. Go get it. So the majority of multiverse figures are just way too small in comparison to the movie Savannah and Shazam. As you can see, they're just a little too short. Um, everybody else, at least. There's a few exceptions. I'll show you those in a second. But really, my main concern was Superman and Shazam. And I had a feeling this was going to happen because Superman never got a new sculpt since Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman and Justice League. His sculpt is the same. So... But you can kind of see what's going on. You can make a great display. Um, but if you're standing them all up height wise. Shazam and Savannah are definitely taller. So these are what I would call the exceptions. These are just some of the multiverse figures. That happen to be a little bit taller. Um, Aquaman from Justice League definitely works well. Um, and the Aquaman from the new movie would work well too. And probably the Ezra Miller Flash from Justice League. Um, would also work great. Harley works really, really nicely. If you want some good Injustice moments, that would work. I thought Supergirl looked really cool next to Shazam too. Batman, I guess, but he's kind of beefy and just a little too short. Um, and then the old 90s Flash would probably work pretty well too. So it's really hit and miss. Um, if you're trying to get these guys to match in with your multiverse figures, uh, it's going to work with some and it's not going to work with others. And here's a size comparison with some of my other Shazam figures. So we can see that the original Dr. Savannah from DC Direct is definitely a lot shorter. Um, the Multiverse Black Adam, or DC Universe Classics Black Adam, I guess we should say, fits in okay. The DC Universe Classics Shazam is shorter. And the same for the DC UC Mary and Freddy. Um, the Black Adam that I have here is the Alex Ross one from DC Direct, and he is a little bit taller than Shazam. Um, so if you're looking for an exact height match, you're probably not going to find one with your other Shazam figures, but they look really, really cool if you're a Shazam collector and you want to have one of every figure or one of every Shazam from a different era, then this definitely works out great and they look really nice together. So... Definitely, definitely, if you're a Shazam fan, these figures are for you. All right, you guys, so that about does it for this action figure review. Once again, the DC Multiverse Shazam and Dr. Savannah, super awesome figures. I highly recommend them. 20 bucks at Walmart, absolutely worth it. So we have these two figures. We also have the True Moves 12-inch Shazam, and we have the 12-inch Thunder Punch Shazam. Those have been the only four figures so far. So I'm going to keep my eyes and ears peeled. Hopefully we get new stuff soon. I hear the street date's March 1st at Target for the basic figures. I'm really hoping that's true or sooner. Who knows? Uh, but keep it right here at my channel. As I find new stuff, I will absolutely review it. There's also the 12-inch uh, Mark Strong, Dr. Savannah figure I totally forgot about. Um, don't know when that one's coming out. Haven't heard or seen anything about it. So... But let me know in the comments below, are you finding these figures? Are you finding others? I'd love to hear from you. YouTube, thank you so much for the likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions. Couldn't do it without you guys, so thank you for the support. Once again, I'm Brandon, and thanks for watching.